Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial where I'll be showing you guys how to make a level and XP system that saves with Data Store 2. So to set things up, the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to publish my place because Data Store requires that you publish your place um, to Roblox and just go ahead and name that whatever you want. Next thing I'm going to do is go to Game Settings and go to Options and enable studio access to API services. This isn't necessary if you want to test outside of studio, but if you do, it is. And lastly, I'm just going to go ahead and import a new script into the server script service and just name it level data store. To start off the level system script, I'm going to go ahead and import the data store 2 module by doing local data store 2 equals require and copying and pasting the asset ID from the free model, which where you can get it from. Uh, next, I'm going to use data store 2's combine function to combine two keys together uh, using a single master key. And this allows us to uh, better optimize the entire data store as a whole. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add some default values for the level and the XP, which traditionally you would have one and zero. Next, I'm going to add a XP to level up function, which will take the current given level and calculate the amount of experience needed to get to the next level. Now I'm going to add a game that players that player added event so we can run a function every time a new player joins. The first thing we'll go ahead and do is give that player a leader stats, which is a folder inside the player and just parent it to the player and then change its name to leader stats which is required for Roblox to recognize it as leader stats. Um, of course if you wanted to uh, change this to a GUI you can go ahead and do this here. Uh, just for tutorial's sake we'll use leader stats. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and add the level value to um, the leader stats by doing int value and parenting it to the leader stats and changing its name and then doing the same thing for the XP. Next, we'll go ahead and get the two uh, data stores, one for the level and the same thing for the XP, using data store two key and then the player. This is me adding some comments to better uh, show how this whole thing works. Next, we're going to go ahead and add some functions when the level and XP are updated. So I'm going to go ahead and add a local function called update level, given the current level and basically just take that level and set it to the player dot leader stats dot level value. Now we're going to make a similar function for the uh, XP update except uh, there's going to be an if statement that's going to check if the XP is greater than or equal to XP to level up given the current level by doing level store get default level and if the XP is greater than, then we need to actually subtract the XP to level up by doing XP store increment XP to level up given the current level times negative one. This will subtract the XP um, by the amount needed to uh, level up and increment the level store by one that levels up the player. Next, uh, we'll add an else statement for when the XP is less than uh, the XP to level up. We'll just go ahead and say player.leaderstats.level.value, or I'm sorry, that XP.value equals XP, just like we did with the level, uh, level function. So we're going to go ahead and call those two functions right away, one time each. So we're going to get the XP and the level right from the data store as soon as the player joins the game. Uh, of course, if he doesn't have a data store, value, it's going to go ahead and use the default level on the default XP. So update level, level store, get, default level, same thing with XP. Next we'll go ahead and call those two functions on updates by using data stores on update function on both the level store and the XP store and linking them to those two functions. Now the system is complete but without a way to increment the XP we have no way to see it actually work. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new script called increment XP. Uh, just copy over the module once again. And you can do whatever you want, whatever whatever your case is for incrementing XP, whether it's uh, killing objects or 
uh, reaching certain areas of the map. But I'm going to go ahead and make a while loop to just iterate through all the players every three seconds and do XP store increment 24 to increase by 24 by every three seconds. So to test this, I went ahead and republished it to a private place and joined it in my create page. And as you can see, when I join, my XP increments uh, every few seconds. And when it hits a certain threshold, I go ahead and level up. And if I go ahead and leave this and I rejoin, you'll notice that my level and XP goes right back to where it was when I left because of the data store. As always, thank you all for watching and be sure to subscribe for more content and also join my Discord down below to talk with me and other developers who watch my videos.